Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to episode number 7 on the Minecraft Survival Let's Play series. And today we are starting things off right near our base. And um, I just wanted to say that this base kind of looks empty towards this side. I mean, this volcano side looks really amazing. But the grass um, doesn't really look too great. I mean, of course, we're going to do something with it. But before we get on to doing that, you can probably see these uh, mountains or you know these hills um, over here. I really don't like these interfering with my base. I'm gonna go ahead and take these out, um, and hopefully it'll be uh, it'll be you know easy. Hopefully I don't encounter too many um, troubles or anything. But yeah, let's do let's start. And most of the mountain has been taken out, and let me tell you. This whole process has just taken me an hour. Just joking, it took me two days. I know, okay, not whole two days, but it took me a few hours. I mean, it took me about six or seven hours to take out everything. And I really feel like I want to take, um, I really feel like I want to take this uh, Mesa spike out that's over here. Which one? Yeah, that one right over there. And I want to take out a little bit of that side. So, here we go. That is. That is done. I mean, I mean, yeah, it took a lot of time to do this. I was, you know, I, I was estimating about maybe around about three to four stacks. But this took me about 16 stacks of red sand. I mean, that is just huge. And if you're wondering why in the world I have gold ore and iron ore, well, the reason is that I found a key. So there was like a hole in the, in the ground. And I found a huge cave underneath and I also got myself some coal over there back home and surprisingly I've got um, or more gold and iron and almost equal amount of both of the resources that, that's quite surprising but um, yeah about for the coal I've got at least um, what I got three and a bit stacks of coal there and I did have a fortune pick so yeah good this one fortune I need efficiency on it I really need efficiency okay oh well now I'm gonna go ahead and take a few jungle saplings and then plant them okay guys so I have done all the terraforming that there is to do grown a lot of trees and this took a ton of bone meal but yeah I finally got it done. I put a few cactus all over this side, a few dead bushes and stuff. But right now, I'm in the process of making like a river place, river area, so that um, we are gonna be basically having water in this thing over here. I've also made some buckets, and um, it's gonna be flowing right the way from the top to the down to to the down. I know, to to right over here, and then it's gonna be going around in a circle all the way like this until finally over here we're gonna have some lava so the lava is gonna come down and then you know they're gonna meet form some obsidian and it's gonna look really nice but i have to clear out this area over here so i'm gonna do that and I'm gonna... speechless just speechless it looks so amazing I mean so the river has been done and this thing just looks I mean it looks great can't wait to get into my texture pack again but that looks just amazing I was going to fill some water down there but that would be easy I think once they open it no, they're not. Surprisingly not. Okay, this isn't me. There we go. But I mean, this just blows my mind. I mean, this is just so beautiful. And then that's the river up there. That's where the water comes from. I still need to do this side. I'm, I haven't done that. But yeah. It looks amazing. This is my favorite. 
Switch Survival Base ever. Ever. I mean, it's just. It's just so pretty. But now comes the tough part the lava. I'm gonna be very careful with this. Hmm, looks like I have some water left. Water first. So. Okay, now the lava will be a tough one. But I think I can get it done. And it should be. And done. Just beautiful. Look at that. It just looks so amazing. I mean, I'm just so happy with the way the base is turning out. And one more thing that I have to do because it wasn't looking too good is I have to make all of these blocks source blocks. So, none of this lava is flowing, I don't think. And it looks much better. Oh, that was dangerous. But yeah, and this is like a river of lava. I had to add another block somewhere over here. I had to add another block somewhere on this side. Yeah, this one over here. And yeah, this block right here. Because otherwise the lava was flowing um out. So yeah. But he, I mean, he just looks amazing. He just looks so amazing. I love it. I also got my texture pack on. And then you got this obsidian dividing the water and the lava. So if you wanted, I could fall into here. But I couldn't fall into that. And also covered the lava pools over here because they were irritating. <laughs> I think. I mean, I'm not sure what to do next. I, I'm, I really don't know what to do next. I mean, this episode is supposed to be like a terraforming one. So I want to do something related to that, but nothing too much to do. You know what, I'm going to get ready for the next episode because it is going to be something super duper special and I'm going to need a lot and I mean a lot of um, gunpowder for that. So I'm gonna just wait for the night. And done. Now you can see that I've repaired my pickaxe actually. And that's good because, I mean, I, I used like, what, three diamonds to repair it. So that's good. I mean, it's better than making a new pickaxe because my pickaxe was on the way out. So that's one good thing. But I'm telling you, I got a lot of resources. I'm not lying. By a lot, I mean a lot. Let me see. I, I was having some gold smelt. There we go. There. And there. So, yeah. Now, are you ready, guys? That's the gold that I got. But let me convert it into blocks first. Oh, and one more thing. Um, In the new update, you can now, in, in the new update of PE, you can choose between two modes. Is a classic mode or on pocket edition mode and that allows you to um to different like like in the pocket edition mode you've got auto crafting while in the classic mode it's like this you know you've got to craft it manually and i'm using the classic mode at it as it is much much more easier to organize oh well are you ready three two one 
take a look guys take a look that nine stacks of coal now okay this is big totally that's 18 stacks of coal and this almost is like 19 sorry almost like 27 stacks of coal i've got let's see how many diamonds we've got actually We've got like two stacks of diamonds. I mean, we've got like full, full diamond gear, full diamond, um, what do you call? Full diamond tools. That is just amazing. I mean, look at this. Look at how many, uh, now look at how much iron I have. And the amount of, I also got some emeralds. And the amount of redstone. I mean, it's just, it's just huge. And that's all thanks to my fortune pickaxe. I mean, it's just amazing. So yeah. Okay, little that. I mean, I would like this is the most resources I have had in any survival world. It's just, it's just a huge number. And hope, hopefully, I will one day be able to get to one whole stack of diamond diamond blocks but right now guys i've got to sleep i've got to sleep in minecraft and um i think it's over for the day i've made a lot of progress on the base which which is can we see from here i don't think we can uh, we've made a lot of progress on the base we have had a superb mining session and i think it's time to end the video so that is gonna do it guys for episode 7 or maybe episode 8 of minecraft and hopefully you enjoyed if you did make sure to hit that like button and also make sure to subscribe share this video with your friends your family everyone you know and um yeah guys that's gonna be it comment down below and